What's going on guys, John Hodler here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to add text to speech for our translation app with Kinter and Python. All right guys, like I said in this video, we're going to add text to speech to our little translation app from the last video. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships on my courses, videos, and books for one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video, we created this cool little translation app. In this video, I'm going to quickly add voice to text so that we can have it actually speak whatever the translation is. So you see I've got some German over here. I've got German as our original language. English as the translation language. Click Hello, translate. My name is John. Pops on the screen. Do it again. Hello, my name is John. Hopefully you could hear that through the speakers, uh, but you know, that's all there is to it. So this works for English. It works for other languages as well, but you know, it kind of butchers other languages and you can add your own language packs to this, but we're not going to talk about that in this video because it's a whole other thing, but uh, you can Google that or maybe comment below if you really want to learn how to do that. And maybe we'll get into that in another video. So let's head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the Kinter playlist with over 200 other Kinter videos. So check that out if you haven't so far. So like I said in the last video, we created this little translation app and I called it translate.py. I just pulled up that same exact code from the last video and I renamed it translate underscore speech.py just to have it as a different file name. So if you need to look at the code later on, you can differentiate between the two. So if you didn't see that video, definitely go back and check that out because I'm not going to go over any of this stuff in this video. Just go watch that video. It was last week's video. So now we just want to add text to speech to this app. And it's actually pretty easy. I did a video on text to speech, boy, 130 odd videos ago or so. Don't quote me on that. Way back in the playlist, you can check the playlist and see. So if you want to learn more about that, go watch that video. I'm not going to get into great detail on the text to speech thing since I've already done a video of it in the past. Like I said, go watch that. In this video, we're just going to knock this out. So let's head over to our terminal and I'm in my C GUI directory. I've got my virtual environment turned on and we're going to need to pip install a couple of things in order to use this. The first is the Pi TTS X3 speech engine thing. So that's just pip install Pi TTS X3 and make sure to spell that right. And I've already done it. So it says, hey, you've already got this and that's all we need to do. So you may also need to pip install one other thing or you may not. Might as well go ahead just in case. Some people need this, some people don't. So let's go pip install pywin32. And this is just Python Windows 32 uh, drivers and stuff that you may need for this engine. So, okay, that's all there is to that. Now let's head back over to our code and let's import this guy. So let's just import py tts x3. So that's py as in Python tts x3. So I'll make sure you spell that right. So now let's just come down here into, let's see where we're translating it. So this is our translated function. And you can see down here, this is the actual text that gets inserted after it's already been translated into the text box. So here, let's initialize the speech engine. So create a variable called anything you want. I'm just going to call it engine. And then set this to a pytsx 3init function. And that's all there is to that. So now we need to tell the program what we want it to speak, right? So pass text to speech engine. So that's just going to be engine dot say we want it to say something. And then here we could pass in anything. If we just wanted to say hello, we could type in hello, right? But we want it to translate this stuff, right? Or probably more likely this stuff, either one, right? So let's just say words because that's what it's going to be. So we just pass in words, or we could also go, you know, translated text dot get from 1.0 to end same thing, but you know, kind of easier just to do words. So that's what we'll do. So finally, we need to run the engine. So we've initialized it, we've told it what to say. And now we need to just kind of turn it on. And to do that, we just call engine dot run and wait. And the A in and and the W in wait are both capitalized. So, okay, let's go ahead and save this and give this a try, see if it worked. So let's go Python translate underscore speech dot pi. And here we could say hello. We want to do, let's say English to French. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> it pops up, right? 
So you'll notice that it says the speech before it puts it in the text. If you want to play around with it and make some sort of timer or something, I've got lots of videos on timers to where it waits a few seconds before it speaks or whatever, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, but yeah, that's all there is to it. So that's the main voice. Bonjour. It's male, it's kind of robotic. There are other ones. So we can come back here and let's play with voices, all right? So here, all we have to do is create a variable. I'm gonna call it voices and set that equal to engine.get property. And then we wanna just pass in voices. And now let's just loop through all the different voices. I think this comes with two voices. You can add more, but again, we're not gonna talk about it in this video. This is just the basic stuff here. So let's go for voice in voices. And here we just wanna call engine.set property and pass in voice and the voice.id. And then we also wanna say the words, so we can just pop that in here. I'll comment this one out, we don't wanna say it twice. So this would just loop through here and with each voice say what our words are. So let's go ahead and save this and run it. See if that worked. And we can go again, hello, translate from English to French. Bonjour. Bonjour. So it has a male and a female voice, eh, whatever. So, you know, you can change that if you want to the female. Again, I think I talked about that in the other video where I went into this into greater detail, but we could probably, if we wanted to print voice.id to see exactly what's going on here, we could run this guy, say hello, translate it. Bonjour. Bonjour. Close it, now we see Wow, it's, this is like a registry key or something, right? Interesting, but for now, I'm just gonna comment these things out and set it back to the way it used to be with the male voice. So very quick and easy way to add text to speech. It's a little janky, but you know, for two minutes of work, pretty good and pretty fun. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.